I'm reminded one day of the man that was blind. He stood by the wayside. Yeah, he stood by the wayside and heard that Jesus was passing by. Remember, he just cried out, Thou Jesus, thou son of David. And whenever you call his name, you get his attention. And the Bible say, Jesus, stop. And say, what, what, what you want me to do for you? He said, I want my sight, man. I don't care what you need. If you just call him by his name, God is able to fix it. It's power in his name. Look, sometimes you ain't got to do but call his name. He already know what you need. I wish I had somebody up here. Have you ever had to call him in the midnight hour when things wasn't going right in your life? And the only thing you would say was, Lord, have a Jesus. And things like all those troubles and troubles. Talk about his name. I can't name these Let's get 
the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. Come on, come on, everybody. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. But truly, he's worthy of all the praise. Amen. God, glory to all the good things that he has. All the good things that he has done for us. Amen. As we celebrate, amen, the goodness of God. Amen. We thank God again for each and every person that's here. Thank God for his Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yes. That is in this yes. place. Amen. Amen. In the house today. Yes. Amen. I want to be where the Spirit is at. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because where but my where the Spirit is at, yes. there's liberty. Yes. Yes. Uh, I say oh, yeah. there's liberty where the yeah, Spirit yeah, yeah. is at. Yeah. See the Spirit destroys yokes. Yes. 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 Come on here. If you've been yoked up, bound up, the Spirit of God has the power to break yokes and set captives free. And I don't know about you, but I want to be free. Amen. Not only do I want to be free, I am free. And I'm going to stay free. Amen. 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 God bless you today. Traditionally, 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 we know that this is a Palm Sunday. Most of the time when we stand, we, we will preach from that perspective. You know, when Jesus Christ entered into Jerusalem on the donkey, amen, the donkey that no man sat on before, amen. And, 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 and sometimes the Lord just want to sit on you. <laughs> Come on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that means he can be, you can be used by him. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes he just want to. You should. Yeah. Amen. But we're not going to teach on that today. We're going to stay with what the Spirit gave me out of the book of Genesis. And it's just turned, that's, that's, that shouldn't be hard to find. It's the first book. Sister, sister, it's the first book. But I want, I want to deal with this because I, 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 I sense it. I, I've been there and I know people are still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When people hurt you, when people hurt you, when when people hurt you, you know the Bible teaches you know uh, offense is gonna come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that Jesus said that offenses and trial and tribulation and pain on. But he said, woe unto him who they come through. Woe, W-O-W-O-W, woe, woe mean pain. So we, we, we as people have experienced, let me see if I'm talking to the right crowd here before I get started. Has anybody up in here ever been hurt by people? Yes, sir. We got the right crowd here. Yeah. So since we, since, since, since we, have been hurt. I believe the key to it is a simple thing, but it become hard for us to do. Right. How do we respond to the hurt? Mm -hmm. What what how do you respond or how should we respond to yeah. To when we have been I'm talking about hurt. Yeah. I'm talking about agony pain. Yeah. yeah, we want to identify the type of people that will hurt you. Mm -hmm. In the book of Genesis, I just want to use this. We're gonna we really gonna focus in on chapter, Amen. Come on, Bible student, chapter thirty nine. But I'm, I'm gonna look at. I'm I'm I'm, I'm starting with chapter thirty seven. Just 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 bear with me. Chapter thirty seven, Amen. I want to read. Uh, Verse 28 of chapter 37, just for just for foundation, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna deal with 39 and all the other portion of scripture. Genesis 37, we got a little time here. Genesis 37, verse 28, then the Bible says, then the Midianites traders passed by. So the brothers, I mean blood, pulled Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 shekels of silver. 
and they took Joseph to Egypt. Y'all see that? Turn with me to chapter 39. Amen. We're going to look at it. Verse 19. Just giving us, I won't have to read all of them. But I'm going to read quite a few. Did you there? Amen. So it was when his master heard the words which his wife spoke to him, saying, Your servant did to me after this manner, that his anger was arose. Then Joseph master took him and put him in the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were confined. And he was there in the prison. But this is the part that gets me excited. But the Lord mm, was with Joseph and showed him mercy. And he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Chapter 40. Verse 23. Is it there? There's one chapter over. Mm -hmm. Then he said, Yet the chief butler did not remember Joseph, but forgot him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When people hurt you, oh, yeah. you may be seated. I read those passages of scripture so we can get a little background for our lesson today. Amen. Amen. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hoop and holler today. I want to teach again because we're living in time where all of us have experienced some type of hurt in our lives. Verbal abuse, mistreatment, physical abuse, all kind of pain as a believer we have experience. Most of us can remember being deeply hurt by somebody. I mean, you can remember that. Unless we know what to do when people hurt us, the memory of these hurt, it scars our past. It saddens the present and it shackles us in the future. Do I need to say that again? Most of us can remember being deeply hurt, hurt by somebody. Yeah. Unless we know what to do when people hurt us, the memory, yeah, you know, of these hurt scars our past is sad the present and shackle us in the future. One of the great biblical examples of what to do when people hurt us is found in the life of this character by the name of Joseph. I said it on last week when I opened this up to teach, saying that this, this passage of scripture, this story is, is one of my pet stories. I've been loving this ever since I got saved. I love this story of I love, I love this story of Job because it teaches us valuable lessons. That sometime in life you're going to get hurt in order to fulfill the will of God. I said, to get to where God wants you to be at. So Stone, every now and then you're going to have to experience some pain. And the thing is that God allows it to happen. Hmm? And that's a part that we don't understand about God. Sometimes God allows some pain to happen, amen, so that he can get you and I to where he wants us to be right. in our life. Right. Right. Getting to your destiny is not gonna always going to be easy. That's right. That's right. That's right. You cannot experience the beauty and all of that of the palace unless you go through the pit of life first. Yeah. Right. Many times we want to see, you know, we want to have the ending real pleasant and we see other people prospering mm -hmm. and all of that and don't know what they went through to get there. The reason that some of us are able to stand the day what God have already brought us through. Right. 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 That's why you see us shouting and rejoicing yeah. because of the trial and the test that God have already brought us through yeah. of the pain and the hurt of life. Yes. 
This is a tedious journey. Can I get a witness? Amen. So one of the great biblical examples, and that's what we want to go by. The Bible is a great example of the people in the Bible. And when I was studying this again, Brother, uh, uh, Brother Mike and, and Brother Jeff, I found out it was some messed up folks in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I'm talking about some messed up characters. Man. Yeah. I'm talking about you got some people in the Bible, in the lineage of Jesus, they was jacked up. Yeah. They had issues. Yeah. Huh? Yes, they did. Hollis and liars and murderers in the Bible that yeah. God honored. Yeah. And yeah. They had a messed up character, yeah. but they lied, they cheated, they did everything, they stole yeah. from the adultery, yeah. but God used them. We got some jacked up folk yeah. 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 in the book. Yeah. But God used them. Yes. That's an amazing, I don't know why, but this amazes how God can take the amazed things of the world yes. and confound the wise. Yes. 